We don't have a, we, we don't uh, want you to wait any longer. Time is very important, isn't it? Today, it is estimated that the anti-aging market is a $160 billion market and expected to double every three to four years. With that in mind, think about this. The accumulation of free radical damage determines a person's age at death. That's the aging process summarized into one sentence. All these things around us are damaging our cells. They're damaging one at a time. And the more we accumulate, the death of these cells and the destruction of these cells determines how old we will be when our body finally can't function anymore. Did you know, in your lifetime, you'll spend three and a half years eating, 12 years watching TV, two and a half years talking on the telephone, two weeks kissing. Woohoo! 12 years non-stop talking. And I think there's another score for network marketers, but I didn't have any science behind it, so I couldn't tell you what that number was. You will produce 200 billion new red blood cells every day. You'll have sex an average of 2,581.3 times. I know, everyone wants to know about the point three, and I'm not going there. You will blink 415 million times. You'll get a new skeleton every four years. You'll produce enough hair cells in a day to grow a meter, 39 inches, of new hair. Stop. Listen. Can you hear it, hear it growing? <laughs> it's amazing that all these things happen one cell at a time, unless the free radicals damage it. As you can see, aging is a process that happens one cell at a time. In fact, did you know in the year 1900, the average person only lived to be 48 years old? Now, did you know the average person lives to be 76 years old? And since this slide was made, new statistics have come out and it says, women have the same life expectancy as men. They don't outlive them anymore. I go, what was that about? <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later. Interesting, the causes of aging are stress, overexertion, injuries, toxins, inactivity, hormone imbalances, enzyme reductions. Bottom line, if it kills your cell, it's taking away part of your lifetime. Did you know that our brains actually shrink 25% in size? By the time we're 70 years old, Marty. <laughs> oh, I just found out he was turning 70. No wonders he didn't want to tell us. The point is this, it doesn't have to. Your brain does not have to shrink, but free radicals damaging it one cell at a time actually leave the average person at age 70 with a brain literally 25% smaller. So this is a picture of a brain, and it's an actual brain, and it's divided right down the middle. And one cell at a time, it can be damaged with too much sugar, with too much alcohol, with smoking. On the other hand, we have the tools to stop that. It's called healthy chocolate, and it neutralizes free radicals. And if you imagine for a moment a truck, a 50-year-old truck, and it's accumulated all this rust. Well, that's what free radical damage is, rust. Now, if you give it enough antioxidants and strip all that rust off of that material, you now have a bare metal. But you need to rebuild it and repaint it. That's why we're here talking about anti-aging show vitality and the reason why is because the chocolate neutralizes the free radicals and delivers the nutrients that will rebuild that body part. Brains, hearts, arteries. So together, we're rebuilding, restoring, reviving, revitalizing. At the same time, we're neutralizing that cause of free radical damage. This is a picture of a red blood cell. This is a healthy red blood cell. And 
What I'm going to show you now is that same red blood cell under attack by free radicals. Did you see the difference? Now, every one of these little tiny dark spots is a free radical stealing an electron from that red blood cell, literally puncturing it so that the contents drain out. That's a free radical. That's a free radical. That's a free radical. That red blood cell is under attack. It happens as much as 10,000 times per hour. That's why we need a consistent source of antioxidants. Now, this is a picture of free radical damage that's spreading to other cells. What happens now is, not only did one of these skin cells get damaged, but it starts to spread to the next, to the next, to the next. So this is a picture in a microscope of skin. This is the top layer of skin, and you can see these dark spots are damaged cells that are precancerous. In other words, they're abnormally growing because free radicals have damaged them. The sun's radiation has damaged them. So that's what free radical looks like as a cell and as it is spreading through tissues. This is what it looks like in bone. What I've got here is a picture in a microscope of normal average bone. Free radicals get in there and steal one electron at a time and leave it hollow like this. That's what free radical damage looks like. In fact, that's a picture of a cancer cell. And all of those little fibers are free radicals trying to gather support and kill other cells surrounding it. Antioxidants gobble up the free radicals and the, even when they're implicated in serious diseases. This comes from a very important scientist, Mario Serafini, at Italy's National Institute of Food and Nutrition. Now, with that in mind, you've seen what cellular damage looks like, what tissue damage looks like. The fact that we need antioxidants is obvious. And the body uses two systems to neutralize these free radicals. One of them is the antioxidant nutrients that actually come from your food or your chocolate. And the finest form of antioxidant out there, as measured by its ORAC rating, is healthy chocolate. The other one is the antioxidant enzyme system. Isn't it neat that we have the ability with chocolate to deliver a neutralizing punch to the cause of all that free radical damage? Now, with the anti-aging capsules, you'll be able to deliver a rebuilding punch at the same time using your own natural body's ability to rebuild. Oh, and by the way, You'll see science up here in little print with big words. I've explained that on video, and I put it on a website that launches today, and it's mydoctorchocolate.com, and you'll find most all of this entire presentation and all of these slides presented in video form, 15 different short segments. So you can cut and paste the sound. So I'll go quick through some of this science, but no. We neutralize antioxidants and our capsules are gonna rebuild your body better. It sounds like the bionic man, doesn't it? We can do it, we have the tools. American Journal of Clinical Nutrition writes, after a review of 93 studies, that the regular consumption of dark chocolate improves the bioavailability. That's a word that means you're actually eating it and it's absorbing and distributing throughout all the cells of your body. While other chocolates that have waxes in it, they go into your stomach and they never really get into your body. That's what bioavailability means. It's available to all the cells of your body and its efficacy as well. Dark chocolate improves absorption and distribution of your nutrients because the polyphenols, which are antioxidants, are readily and willingly absorbed into the individual cells. They are a train carrying loads of our new, uh, new anti-aging product. So the chocolate is in each capsule because 
Science has documented that it will carry these nutrients that we're giving you in the form of arginine, in the form of coenzyme Q10, and you're going to get more of them available because of the chocolate and at the same time neutralize the free radicals. This is science that documents why we are where we are. This is science that shows you what you don't want to become by not taking your antioxidants. What do you think about him? What word comes to your mind? I can't say some of those, I know. This is what happens with one cell getting attacked by a free radical, spreading to another cell, to another, to another, to another, until it covers his whole body unopposed. Have you ever met a man, women, who says, I'm not taking that, why? I just don't want to. <laughs> Pretty much that's what happened in this case. Now. I'd like to do a test, so I need about three people to join me on stage. If you just, three people just run right up here and stand right in the middle. I want to test, that's terrific, great. And I'm going to go quick because I have 180 slides, isn't that fun? Okay, we're going to these three. Uh, you, you know what, you guys, you three come up next time. The three, the four of you, come up on, I've got four tests. This is only one of them, okay? So I've got the next one picked. If we can measure your age biologically, then when you take our product, and a month later we test your age again, and it gets younger, you know the product works. Step right up here in the middle. Good to see you, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna have you introduce yourself, but I'm gonna test your age with this ruler. I know, I'm gonna measure his age with a ruler. Don't go there, man, I know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble now, aren't I? Uh, okay, here we go. Watch how easy this is. Gravity always plays a role in age, doesn't it? Now, with that in mind, I'm going to drop this ruler randomly. You're going to hold your hand out, just like I'm doing here, with four inches between your fingers. All of you do this with me. Now, I'm going to walk by and I'm going to drop this ruler and your reflexes are going to catch it. Okay? May I start right here? You, no, no cheating. Oh, that's great. You have 60-year-old reflexes. You have 50-year-old reflexes. You have 55-year-old uh, reflexes. Now, I wanted somebody who didn't catch it at all so we could all get a good laugh, but what happens here is very simply this. In a medical journal, this is documented as one way to tell your neurological hand-eye coordination which relates to your age. Now. If you'll turn around and look on the board here, this dropped a certain distance and they caught it. It relates to your biological reflexes age. You all did pretty darn good. Now, you get to do it three times, so we're gonna let them do it one more time and see if they can better their number. Now, you let, gotta let me put this at the top. Oh. We've got a product for you. <laughs> Now, it isn't really fair to do this in an audience setting like this because of what happened. But we're going to give her a third try, aren't we? Okay, are you ready? Yay! Yeah, you're done. I so thank you for your time and help you. And you know what? Look up there and see what you have as your agent. Now, yes, you know. And what you do here is take our product for a month and we're going to do the same test when I'm out in the, in the area when I come out for your meetings and we expect you to be just a little quicker. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that, 50. You're, you're at about 50 again. And what we do is we do it three times and take the average. Do you like this test? Thank you, give it a hand. Sorry, we still get time to talk, but we just don't have much. With that in mind, this is just one of the tests that's in this book. These are documented in medical journals, and these numbers are statistically evaluated to show you what the age of your body is. In the very back of the book, page 114 on, you've got five tests. One is for your eyesight, one is for your reflexes, one is for your balance. These are all fun things to do at a meeting, and they help people identify where their true age 
or the deterioration of their age really is. We're going to do the others in a little bit later. When we, so I don't want you falling asleep on me, so in about 15 minutes we'll do another one. Now, when you see a big number up there, like this one has number two, that means that's another video that's been filmed for you and put on the website. So these slides on section two are going to be on the website for you already filmed. What is a free radical and why does it cause disease? Is that a good topic? Yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever struggled with trying to tell somebody the answer to that? Just go to the website, click, paste, and send it to them now. Here's what it says. Free radicals are everywhere. They're in our air. They're in our water. They are everywhere. America needs to cleanse this problem out of their body. The free radicals that are most common to us are, I know you guys are loving this, aren't you? The number one most purchased item in our grocery stores is Marlboro cigarettes, followed by Coke Classic, Pepsi Cola, Kraft Processed Cheese, Diet Coke, Camel's Soup, Budweiser Beer, Tide Detergent, Folgers Coffee, Winston Cigarettes, and the most shoplifted item in all of our grocery stores is Preparation H. You can see we're full of it. <laughs> We need help. <laughs> now, in some of these questionnaires, the more yes answers that you give, the higher your risk of problems and chronic debilitating diseases. So, if in a moment you just kept the number of yes answers, are you dehydrated? Yes, you get one point. Do you live in a home with a lot of humidity or mold? If a yes, that's another point. If you fertilize your lawn, the fumes and the toxins from that are free radicals. You can see where I'm going on this, can't you? Some of the questionnaires are going to identify what are the most common free radical damaging problems in our homes. Did you realize that if, in fact, you live in a house where your cat has a flea collar, it has a five times increased risk for brain cancer in children that live with that? Ah, but do antioxidants neutralize those free radicals? Yeah, right at the cost. So you can see there's some really good reasons for our chocolate. Drain cleaners in our home and laundry detergents have as much as one half to two thirds cup of crushed fiberglass in the Tide detergent. Cigarettes, cigars, no iron shirts are made with formaldehyde. Dry cleaners or dry cleaners use a chemical that's carcinogenic, and we wear it near our body all the time. Did you know that if you pick up a toothpaste that says tartar control toothpaste, there's a black box warning on it, and that warning says, if swallowed, immediately contact poison control or go to the emergency room. That's our toothpaste. The point is, we can't even identify all the problems that surround us, but we can neutralize the cause with our antioxidants. And now with anti-aging, we can rebuild so we don't look like this when we're 43 years old. <laughs> yeah, 43 years old. Have we got a product for you, right? This is a Native American. He lived outside all his life in the free radical damage from the sun made his skin look like a Sharpe puppy. Now, free radicals damage the skin and they become thick and tough and wrinkled, and we call that inflammation. When we are exposed to, uh, to free radicals, our body responds with inflammatory responses. Now, free radicals are molecules, and they're made up of atoms that are glued together with chemical bonds. And the more detailed answer to that is filmed for you on video on the website, so I'll skip over it a little bit right now. Free radicals damage the cell membrane by stealing an electron. More detail, again, in the website. This is what it looks like, though. That is a picture of the back of a person's hand. See all these little bumps? See all these little bulges? You've probably seen this on your body before. Imagine this person pour gasoline on their hand and watch what the inflammatory response would be. The free radicals cause the skin to swell up around each individual damaged cell. Imagine if that happens in your artery of your heart or in your brain. You just lost a memory. 
You just lost the ability of a liver to function, possibly. It might be temporary, or it might be permanent. If it were the liver, for instance, here's a picture of a normal liver. This is a picture of what happens when chronic free radical damage starts destroying one cell at a time, it becomes cirrhosis, and that's what the liver looks like after free radicals cause the damage, the body swells up, and that could be the same kind of a picture we show in the brain, in the heart, in any artery in the body. Prolonged exposure to these free radicals cause what we call cross-linking, which produces the symptoms of aging. So, imagine, if I were to take DNA, and I were to stretch it out clear across this stage, and then I had an exact copy of RNA with it. I'd have two strands of genes all across this stage. Now, if I were a radiation expert, and I could shoot radiation at just one of those genes, they would break apart. And now the two of them would become free radicals, looking for somewhere to bind with. They might find it clear down here at the end of the stage, and a free radical has damaged this link, breaking it apart. Now these two hook up, and when they pull together, it's like handcuffing two ends of a rope together, and you get a big, huge loop or wrinkle. That's what happens to your skin when radiation from free radicals damages your skin. And the free radicals, not only break the bond, but they cause two more free radicals in the process. So it's a cascade of attack on your body. Now, this cross-linking of molecules causes the membranes to bond together in an accordion-like fashion. So it shows up like wrinkles in the skin. It shows up in high blood pressure because the arteries have become hardened and thickened. It shows up in producing poor memory and concentration and focus. The DNA can cause all kinds of abnormal growth. Immune cells can produce an attack on themselves because they're no longer normally shaped. They're identified as foreign, we call it autoimmunity. This is what it looks like in pure exposure to radiation from the sun. Yeah, that's a cactus. See how it's become accordion shaped with all that cross-linking? You don't want that to happen in your brain, in your heart. That's why we take chocolate. That's why we are the best antioxidant that there is. And now with the anti-aging appropriation, you're going to see your body rebuilding itself faster than ever before. If you look to the local, yes, thank you. Look how fast I'm going and how quick I'm getting there, right? <laughs> We're saving time because we don't have very much because nobody's taking their product yet. I know. <laughs> Locations of free radical damage and the disease they cause includes in the lungs you get allergies. If you neutralize that, do they go away? Many times they do. In the brain, we can have Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or memory loss. Your eyes, you can have cataracts, macular degeneration. Arteries, we can have hardening of the arteries. All these different things can be caused one cell at a time. One single cell at a time. And the reason we're taking this anti-aging product, don't forget this, is because every single cell of your body deserves a second chance. Don't you agree? Yeah. That's what we're giving it. Now, there's a lot of things that cause or form free radicals. And you know that we see them all the time. You can eat free radicals in the foods that you take. Fried foods, overburnt barbecued foods, inhaled toxins, polluted water, skin radiation. But the most dangerous that's listed in the literature is a diet deficient in antioxidants. A diet deficient in antioxidants is the most dangerous thing you can do. Imagine this. It's a balance. If every day you eat free radicals and inhale free radicals and drink free radicals, and they are in higher amounts than the amount of antioxidants you're taking in at the same time, you're getting sicker and older. If you have a higher number of antioxidants, every meal, all through the day, then you do free radicals, 
You're repairing, revitalizing, rejuvenating every single second of the day. It's a balance. And if you put the balance towards antioxidants, you're getting younger. If you put it towards free radicals, you're getting older. And that is very simple because most all chronic debilitating diseases are caused by free radical damage. Now, if we ask this question, and if we don't, we're probably irresponsible. Can we really turn back the hands of time? Can our body cells regenerate themselves? Can they pass that on to body systems and tissues of our body? Well, think of this. There's a medical specialty in anti-aging medicine at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. I am board certified in that practice. That's the fastest growing specialty in all of medicine today. And thousands of studies have proven that these antioxidant therapies do in fact work. There is even a journal of anti-aging therapeutics to document them on an ongoing basis. There's even a journal of free radicals. There's a journal that documents free radical damage. So when you look at anti-aging with antioxidants, Think of this, United States. According to the United States Public Law 103417, quote, the use of nutritional supplements prevents disease, promotes wellness, and reduces long-term health care costs, are safe, and increase the longevity and quality of life, unquote. Now, I don't care for the law telling me what to do with medicine, but the fact that the NIH, the FDA, and as many doctors as they could put into a committee at one time came up, represented themselves as being factual to the Congress, and they passed it as a law? That says that we've gone through the proving process. That means we're in a place where we should be talking about how antioxidants work, not if. We're in a place where I'm going to demonstrate in scientific terms why they work. Stanford medical researchers say, it is possible to reverse and prevent the effects of aging. The New England Journal of Medicine says, quote, the overall deterioration of the body that comes with growing old is not inevitable. We now realize that some aspects of it, meaning aging, can be prevented or reversed. Scientific research reports that the aging process can be reversed, thousands of them. Here's a few. The Journal of Clinical Investigation says we regenerate damaged tissues. New England Journal of Medicine says prevent symptoms of aging and rejuvenate deteriorated organs. National Academy of Sciences reverse symptoms of aging. Anti-aging journal says amino acids and antioxidants improve the quality and longevity of life. Anyone who says to you, can you turn back the hands of time, has it been proven? What do we say? Yes. yes. Do you have to memorize all of this? No. No. Where can you get it? MyDoctorChalker.com. MyDoctorChalker.com. My doc yeah, my, what is it again? MyDoctorChalker.com. I need a great big pill. Can you get that down for me? With that in mind, I'm glad you know what you're doing, but how neat it would be to just click and paste and send a short video clip of some of this to some of the people who question what's going on in this area. And for those of you 30 and younger, I believe you might find a way to put it on your phone. <laughs> and if you're not 30 and under, boy, do we have a product for you. We'll get you there. Now, according to UCLA Medical School, the daily use of antioxidants can add 10 healthful years to your life. Who wants to live 10 years longer? Yeah. Who wants to live 10 unhealthy years longer? Yeah, see what happened there? Just like a free radical and antioxidant, it was neutralized and nothing flat. You don't want to live an extra 10 years if you've got rheumatoid arthritis and if you've got all kinds of these diseases that are all free radical in nature. So here we go. Revitalize, restore, replenish. See that? Revitalize, restore, replenish. In each one of these, 
are capsules. In each of these capsules is a small portion of that capsule filled with our cocoa, the finest antioxidant in the world. In addition, you've got ingredients for the heart and brain in this one. You've got a strong antioxidant power with some of the strongest combinations of antioxidants out there. In this bottle, you've got energy and immunity. Three bottles, one, two, three. Do you like this totem pole of health? I know, I just made it up as I'm going here, but anyways. When you look at three bottles and you take one capsule out of each each day, that's what I call prevention and maintenance. That's for a 25 to 35 year old who wants to stay young, stay healthy, and realizes that the damage from the sun they get today is the cancer that grows on their skin 30 years later. They're the person who wants to take it to stay young, feel young, be young, and keep the balance of antioxidants higher than the intake of free radicals. In addition, somebody might want to take it three capsules in the morning and three at night. There's the 40 and 50 year old population that's trying to reverse something that's been accumulating in damage form, meaning free radicals, for a lot of years. Can you take three in the morning, three at lunch, and three at dinner? Yes. Absolutely yes, and that's the people that are 65 and older that want to reverse something that's very, very obvious, if you know what I mean. Not like that guy with the short pay puppy skin, but not that bad. But we can help one cell at a time. Show vitality, this is the antioxidant power and a picture of the label. Ingredients include the Shovita, that is your combination of our special sauces of raw cocoa, blueberries, and acai berry. In addition, grapeseed extract, resveratrol, vitamin D, and, and uh, cholecalciferol. So what you've got is a very, very powerful combination of ingredients. More is going to come in the book on the science behind why that works. Right now, we'll move a little quickly. The Show Vitality Replenish product is for energy and immunity. Again, Shovita with two different immune-stimulating natural products. One is a shiitake mushroom and one is a maitake mushroom. And why are they in there? Because they boost immunity through the enzyme system that we talked briefly about earlier, while the chocolate goes ahead and directly neutralizes free radicals. In addition, you've got Panax ginseng root, which is a tonic, which is immune stimulating. It actually increases natural killer cells. Gosh, that is, isn't that a great name? Increase your natural killer cells, and those are the cells of the immune system that can identify anything foreign, and either eliminate it on site or mark it to be killed by antibodies later. In addition to that, we've got quercetin, we've got L-arginine and milk thistle. I'm going to talk a little bit more about these individual ingredients as we go on, but here's the third bottle. Heart and brain health. We want to revitalize memories. We want hearts to beat with better cardiac output. Isn't that a great term? more output of blood flow with a stronger, healthier, more oxygenated uh, heart muscle. Ingredients include the Shovita. In addition, coenzyme Q10. It received, or its researchers received, the Nobel Prize in Medicine for the findings of how well it provides energy to the entire system, but especially the heart. In addition, we've got something called phosphatidylserine. This documents the fact that people could have an increase in memory, recall, focus by 22% increases after the first dose. Anybody interested? If you're falling asleep, I'm giving you that. All right. Three products. Our, I'm going to go through some of the ingredients fairly quickly because there's science behind every one of these that I could write a full book on, but we'll keep it short. Arginine helps reduce stress. Arginine helps improve kidney, liver, brain, and cardiovascular functions. Here's the different medical journals that document that. Where will you find it? That wasn't good enough. 
include an antioxidant called silymarin. That's the actual ingredient that's active within this milk thistle. It prevents damage. It regenerates liver cells. It stands guard on the outer receptor sites of cells, barring toxins from entering. And this is a photograph from an electron microscope showing the liver cells actually barring the entrance of toxins and detoxifying the vessels of the liver at the same time. In addition, milk thistle is absorbed in 30 minutes and is in the blood in one hour where it travels to the liver. Noticeable improvement occurs in five to eight days. The difference between this and drugs is we don't have harmful, by, uh, harmful uh, side effects, but we don't work in five hours, we take five days. Why? We're working at the source of the cause of the problem and we're restoring and regenerating and reviving the individual cells. Why that's so significant is because pharmaceutical products are almost all free radicals. They just kill as much of the damage as they can. We're rebuilding. Ginseng, I, I went too quick on that one, know this. <laughs> If I push the back button, it goes all the way to the start. We're not going to do that. So, ginseng is for energy. I've written an entire book on ginseng, on its benefits. Know this. When we took adults and put them through a little bit of exercise and combined it with a little bit of ginseng, they were actually able to neutralize viruses, bacteria, and mold in their bodies when we put it in a mouse model and gave those mice a fatal dose of a virus called cytomegalovirus. Then we gave them ginseng and put them on a treadmill and let them jog a little bit. I know, I know. When mice have nightmares, it's my face they see. I know, I know. <laughs> when we tested these animals though, what did we see? We saw them overcoming an incurable and fatal viral infection because of the immune stimulating effects and the energy increase from ginseng in combination with a number of exercises. With that in mind, maitake and shiitake mushrooms. Maitake is a, it works on anti-inflammation um, and reduces immune suppression according to the Nutrition Journal. It helps enhance natural killer cells as well and their activity which destroys viruses, bacteria, and abnormal cells published in the Oncology Report Journal. The shiitake mushroom supports immune functions that, re that remove free radicals, regenerate normal immune cells at the genetic level. They've actually seen DNA regenerated and restored back to normal. Now is the time to present the book that I've already waved in your face. <laughs> Live Young with Chocolate. This is a book 138 pages long that gets to the point about chocolate, about anti-aging. It has these slides that you've seen up here, plus many more. It has tests that you can test your balance, that you can test your age. <clears throat> and if you go to the very back, there's some questionnaires that you can look at for immune function. <clears throat> and I've set it up in a way that if you just go to the copy machine and hit copy, you can actually hand it out at a meeting. And since I'm not supposed to give you copyright to do so, don't ask me and I won't tell you you can't. <laughs> now, with that in mind, you're gonna see the message that is new, that is remarkable, that is only from Shosai, and that is this. We recognize that the preponderance of all the science that's out there suggests that antioxidants, when taken in higher proportion than free radicals accumulation, neutralizes their damage almost and totally and completely, allowing the immune system to work in conjunction with important herbs and stimulate the rebuilding of healthy tissues. Thus, almost every single anti-aging doctor 
focuses on the use of antioxidants in his or her practice of anti-aging medicine. We have the finest, we have the best. Let's keep the antioxidants higher than the free radicals and turn back the hands of time. This is the website, mydoctorchocolate.com. It is a third party referenced material. It is updated research. I'm not going to write a newsletter to you or for you. I'm going to videotape them so you can cut, paste, and send. They will come in the form of frequently asked questions about chocolate, about anti-aging, and other things. There will be video trainings on the benefits of chocolate and very, very many more things to come. It is being released and open today. Update brochures. There's a number of brochures that have been updated. We've had such great information in the past, but it needed a little bit of update. So we've got a number of brochures for heart, for brain, seven benefits of healthy chocolate. Here's one, 24 health benefits of chocolate. A brochure for you, um, healthy chocolate uh, for diabetes. And there's also a, a, it's not a trifle, it's a quad fold that opens up and talks specifically about the anti-aging product itself. So these are available to you as well. Here's that uh, quad that I was talking about. And uh, you've got restore, replenish, <coughs> revitalize, and you've got different bullet points for each one. By the way, I don't think it will be very hard for you, if you look, to find these one sentence quotes in more detail on the website. Again, you've got the questionnaire, and on one side of the questionnaire, people can sit down and ans answer these questions. You wanna hear one or two of the questions? Yes. It's divided into sections for you. So we've got one section here, a line, another section, another one. The top section is for brain and mental health with questions that are answered yes or no, like this. I never seem to get enough sleep, yes or no. I struggle to, fo I struggle to focus at work, yes or no. My ability to remember faces and names has decreased. You see the point I'm getting to on that one. Cardiovascular age is on here with questions like, I regularly have swollen legs. I experience lightheadedness. I'm always tired during the day. All of these are risk factors for free radical damage. At the end of one, two, three sections, you can't see it here, but there is a total. So you're gonna get a total of yes answers from this, 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 and this. Each one has about 10 questions in it. You'll get a total number of yes answers. Then, there's a section you don't see here that's below, that is questions of anti-aging prevention, like this. I have a sleep routine and sleep at least seven and a half hours a night. I eat a healthy diet of approximately 2,000 calories a day. I avoid eating refined sugars. Now, you'll get a score for that, and you'll subtract it from this because we're looking for lifestyle changes, you'll get a total score. Then on page 114 of this book, it says that I have a visitor and I'm trying to get something to help with. I'm delighted with that, thank you. Clairvoyant on top of everything else is Valentine, right? <laughs> thank you. Then on page 113, you can go to this, and in the book, because we can't tell you what to take based on a questionnaire or they call it diagnosing and prescribing. But if we tell you what to take in the book and it goes with the handout, it's just fine. So in this book, you've got the ability to look up and see that if you have a certain score, you need to take one of each of those three a day. If you have a higher score, you need to take two of each a day. If you have a higher score, you need to take three of each of those a day. And what we're doing is identifying free radical damage and accumulation and countering it with the appropriate amount of antioxidants and rebuilding anti-aging ingredients. Hope that helps. Yeah. Now, what you're going
going to find on the website as of today is the following topics. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals. What is a free radical and why does it cause disease? What makes chocolate healthy? Antioxidants are anti-aging. Scientific review of healthy chocolate. Harvard says chocolate reduces the risk for heart disease. Uh, a lot of other topics down here. The point I'm making is these are available to you. This is where I want you to go for your science. This is why we're going to be able to keep it to one or two sentences about anti-aging, knowing that the total accumulation of free radicals in your life determines your age at death. Let's neutralize them with antioxidants. Okay, I think that means make the test. Come up here, you four people. You four people come up here and we're going to do that the next test. And by the way, you'll find the test in the book and you'll find the analysis in the book. And if you'll just stand right here, side by side, I need all four of you. Okay, so I'm going to turn my back to you, audience. It doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. Okay, you're, you're facing me, and what we have is, it's called in scientific journals, a static balance test. You are going to not participate, but make sure none of them tip over. Yeah. You're all going to get to join me in this in a minute, if you'd like. So what we're going to do is this. In the medical journals, balance is one of the most important ways to determine your age. In a test that doctors have proven in scientific journals, is indicative of your age. Follow me. We're going to stand just like this. You can put your arms out. You can put them to your side. But you're going to keep your balance. Now we're going to stand on one foot. You're catching anybody that wants to fall. That was good, wasn't it? I took all the blame away from myself. Okay. Stand on one foot. I like that part. And we're going to count how long you can stand on one foot. Oh, but that's not all. You guys are doing great, aren't you? Now, close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Now look at what this means. Look at what this means. Time in seconds is on this chart. Age is on this chart. So if you made it 13 seconds, you have the balance of a 50-year-old. Um, four, well, <clears throat> we'll try again. How, do you, how about if we do it one more time? Audience, would you like to join me? Stand up and one of you make sure the other one of you doesn't fall. And we'll do it again. Everybody ready? Can you imagine doing this at your meeting? Somebody walks in in the back of the room and there's a bunch of people doing this airplane thing. All right, with me? Now, if you're doing the balance and you're closing your eyes, have somebody on your side to catch you. With me? Everybody, stand on one foot. Eyes are still open. Ready? Get set. Close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm still seeing people hopping around. Thirty. All right, give me your numbers. Call them out. I said.
Chocolate.com. Not good enough. One more time. And do it with passion because you're getting younger all the time. I know. Healthy chocolate is cold pressed. No sugar or butter fat added. That's why we're healthy. Now, you got a picture of somebody up here, and you might recognize him as a movie star. And I got a picture of him in 1994, and I got a picture of him in 2008. Darn, he just doesn't look like he's aging, does he? What about Dick Clark? And I know he just died, but you know what? He just seemed to never age as well. I suggest that the person who through their entire life has more healthy antioxidants out balancing free radicals is the one that continues to live this way. Why? How about this? Do you remember these VHS videotapes? 
Did you ever put one in a, t a tape player and say, I'll copy that for you, Mom or Dad? And you pulled it out and you copied it for them. And then somebody else copied it for them and somebody else copied it. Pretty soon, seven kids in the family had copied it. And the last one got a tape that kind of sounded like this. It kind of looked like fuzzy and scratchy and it sounded bad. Every time it was duplicated, it lost just a little bit of what was there. That's what happens with free radicals to your cells. So that duplication after duplication after duplication leads you to a place where you're kind of fuzzy and not working so well. But antioxidants and the enzyme system of your body stops that damage from happening in the duplication process so that you can live and look just as young year after year. Cumulative cellular damage from free radicals determines a person's age and their death. Very few individuals, if any, reach their potential maximum lifespan. They die instead prematurely of a wide variety of diseases, the vast majority being free radical diseases. This is a doctor who published the idea that antioxidants were anti-aging. And it's important because you can be younger than you were yesterday, according to this same doctor. He actually took antioxidants and proved that they neutralized free radicals. And the free radicals were destroying tissues one cell at a time. So by donating a constant stream of electrons, these antioxidants donate a constant stream of electrons, the free radicals will bond to these and the electrons, and they will become permanently neutral. They won't cause any more damage. And the antioxidants will neutralize the damaged tissues one cell at a time, thus restoring proper cellular function and cellular division. He did a study in rats. I know when the rats have nightmares, they see this doctor's face. But rats were fed a standard diet of rat chow. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it kind of does. <laughs> rat chow. I know some attorneys that eat the same stuff. No one does. <laughs> rat chow. While another group of rats were fed standard rat chow with a fortified antioxidant in there. So you got one set of rats with antioxidants, one without. The rats eating the antioxidant had an increased lifespan of 40%. In human terms, that's an extra 40 years of healthy living. So the more antioxidants you have floating around in your bloodstream from what you've eaten actually protects your cells and the healthier and longer you can expect your lifespan to be. That's the originating science and it's been supported more and more and more. Mice then were given lethal doses of radiation by NASA. NASA got involved. Why? Well, they were sending people into outer space. And radiation wasn't being um, blocked by any ozone layers or just straight radiation. Particles were flying through at high speeds. And they were worried that the people who went in outer space would end up with so much radiation poisoning, they'd come back with cancer or illnesses or even death. So NASA took mice and they irradiated them with lethal doses of radiation, yet they gave them antioxidants in another group, and you knew what happened. The antioxidants survived, or the antioxidant mice survived longer, had improved immune cell function. They had immune bone marrow regeneration, meaning they made more red blood cells. It prevented lymphopenia, meaning the suppression of your body's ability to neutralize free radicals. And it improved recovery and modulated abnormal cell growth. This is from NASA. They wanted to know if antioxidants could be given to astronauts and sent into space, and it worked, and they did. <clears throat> Unique cocoa action is the best antioxidant, is what I'm trying to tell you here, according to the United States Department of Agriculture. You've seen the charts. Have one with you at all times. It's so easy to pull that chart out from the USDA and say, look, we're the best. And let the USDA do your speaking for you. 
During the past 100 years, we've developed the ability to live longer and healthier. In fact, science predicts persons that take responsibility for their own life will be able to live to be 100 years of age and take responsibility includes antioxidants and anti-aging supplements with exercise. <clears throat> By the way, when I say exercise, do you need to do anything more than a brisk walk? No, that is absolutely a terrific way to go. And a brisk walk is one of the finest ways to help your heart be stronger, your brain perform better. But most of all, did you know that when you do that kind of exercise, it normalizes out of balance hormones? Even depression has been shown to be controlled much better than even with drugs. But did you know the study showed that you had to be doing exercise for three to four months before that benefit was realized? So stay with it. Have a dream. You can see into the future. I know you can. You can see three months from now. You can have a vision of who you can become a year from now. So, aging is measured when a cell, a cell, single cell, stops dividing. It is measured because this causes the tissues to become weak, brittle, inflamed, or partially functional. And when the tissues stop performing at optimal levels, we develop the symptoms of aging. Part of that is we get wrinkled skin. We can see that. But we accept this deterioration of our bodies as normal. What if, what if we didn't have these symptoms? Would we actually be ageless? What if our cells divided normally, didn't have free radical damage? Would we be ageless? Gosh, that's a great thought. And science says yes. As we age, we produce less enzymes and hormones. Cocoa is the strongest antioxidant, according to the United States Department of Agriculture and is willingly absorbed into the cells, transporting the capsule ingredients of your anti-aging products that have antioxidant benefits on your hormones, on your enzymes, and on circulation. In other words, the chocolate is in the capsule to transport the ingredients that are in the capsule with it inside the cell, because all of your cells love antioxidants. By age 40, we produce 5% of the needed growth hormone for eyesight, for our eyesight to be normal, for our body to be normal. Eyes get inflexible, our arteries get inflexible, and are actually 40% clogged. So for every year old you are, you have that percentage of clogged arteries, according to statistics. So if you're 20 years old, your arteries already are starting to be clogged. How do we know that? Unfortunately, the military men who have died, we have seen that in. So if you're 70 years old, you have 70% clogged arteries. Yes, can antioxidants make that not happen? That's what we're talking about. And when cocoa helps deliver arginine, for instance, to the cells, we see reduced glaucoma, according to this journal, improved wound healing, according to the Surgery and Oncology Journal, reduced kidney disease, according to the American Journal of Kidney Disease, reduced liver disease, improved immunity, and intestinal restitution. Anti-aging benefits in the Anti-Aging Therapeutics Journal. If you decide you want to use science in a statement to somebody like your mom or a friend or someone you've just met, I recommend it's this easy. Start with the word according. According to the Journal of American Journal of Kidney Disease, we reduce kidney disease. It's easy to, that one, that one didn't work real good, but you know what, here's one that does. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, we improve cardiovascular function. We, meaning cocoa. Cocoa meaning healthy cocoa, not milk chocolate. That's the kind of a statement that will open up a discussion with any medical professional, and you're utilizing someone else's credibility that's beyond reproach. That's why the website is out there for you as well. All of this is on it. I believe the body will heal itself if you give it the proper tools. Anybody else believe that? Yeah. That sums up all four of my medical doctor degrees. I believe the body's going to heal itself.